So welcome to Accelerus Presents, a tour of the Microsoft System Center Service Manager 2010 console interface. I'm Dave Voltorek, and I'm joined here today by Pete Quayerla. How are you doing, Pete? I'm good, Dave. How are you? Okay. So let's get right into it. Uh, you can learn more about um, System Center Service Manager implementation and training on Accelerus.com. So on to the work items workspace. On to work items. Work items uh, comprise four different uh, elements, activities, changes, incidents, and problems. Uh, and these are, as the name suggests, these are the things that you do. These are the, the, the items uh, that you work in System Center Service Manager. We'll talk about activities first. So the activity is, is a, a unit of work that's performed as part of an incident, a problem, or a change. These are essentially child activities to those work items. You've got two different kinds of, uh, of activities. You've got manual activities, and these are uh, things like building a server, testing a chain, one and done. You also then have review activities. And review activities essentially allow people to vote on, to authorize uh, something. So if you had a change, you could associate a review activity with the change, and you could assign a bunch of different people uh, to vote on and ultimately to approve the change. And, and there, are, there are different ways of uh, confirming what kind of, uh, whether you need unanimous um, approval or only, say, 75% approval to proceed with the change. Speaking of changes, change management is where we're going to manage any sort of addition or modification or removal of anything that would have an effect on IT services. Uh, we've got here, as you can see, a number of different out-of-the-box views for our change requests. We can look at all of our change requests. We can look at only those that have been assigned to me. And then we can look at them by status, canceled, closed, completed. We can also look at things that have uh, been put on hold or rejected. And we can then also add our own views to this list, which is very, very handy. There's a lot you can do with views to customize this interface. Very much the same for incidents. So incidents are going to be those things that interrupt normal operation of service that we want to, to fix right away. Uh, and as you can see, we've got a number of good out-of-the-box views for incidents, open email incidents, portal incidents. Problems are the root cause of one or more incidents. So we have a relationship between incidents and problems, and that's very easily handled in Service Manager, we can actually relate incidents to problems. And again, we've got a nice list of views here, which can be further customized to meet whatever specific needs you might have. 